Hey guys, it's me Lunar and welcome back to another Player Unknowns video for Xbox One. Today we're quickly going over the stuff from a game at E3 on PUBG. It's been a crazy E3 and I will be making more videos on other game news I'm going to be playing, so expect other videos not PUBG related. As always guys though, leave a like and let's get straight into it. So I will show you guys the trailer in full in a minute, but this is a post to go with it. And it says, Hey everyone, at Microsoft E3 press conference earlier today, we announced some exciting new content coming to all versions of PUBG later this year. The Ballistic Shield is a new tool for setting up cover points for when you're in otherwise exposed territory. It can be used simultaneously with sidearms, SMGs, melee weapons and throwable grenades. The shield takes a primary weapon slot and is especially powerful in squad based combat. Shield bearers can act as the vanguard for their team, pushing forward under cover while their teammates safely attack and move forward into better position. The Ballistic Shield will first be introduced in War Mode for PC and Xbox later this year. So guys, they're introducing a new shield to the game and they will be adding it to War Mode, which will be coming later this year. There's no date for that. The shield itself, it kind of reminds me of the shield from The Division. Now let's talk about the snow map. This map is currently very early in development and they're aiming to bring it to both PC and Xbox this winter. Expect to see new mechanics built around the snowy terrain. Soon we'll be able to have more news about our fast approaching third map, Sandhawk. And they said they're proud to announce that it will come to PC on June the 22nd and Xbox in late summer 2018. So I think we'll probably see that maybe around August or September. I wouldn't expect to see it in July. But I guess you'd never really know. Finally, we want our Xbox One players to know that improving optimization and stability is their top priority for the team, as you've said quite a lot, and their next patch will be focused on reducing crashing and improving performance. They are committed to transparency and frequency about improvements to the game, and they'll have more news and updates on that. And they did release a little statement about what they're currently working on, but I will go over that in a separate video, most likely tomorrow, because I want to get all the E3 stuff out of the way first, guys. But the next update itself is not until June the 26th. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to quickly go over the things that were mentioned in the trailer. I will show you the full thing now. It's not a lot of news today for the game, but it is some. I know a lot of you are saying PUBG shouldn't be promoting the game at E3 when it doesn't even work properly. But I kind of agree, but on the other hand, no news at all would probably be worse. I'll be back tomorrow then guys with more PUBG videos. Things will be a lot less rushed than this one was. Today though, I have other games I want to upload videos for, so I will see you all again very soon. Peace out.